Hey you guys, how you doing? Um, this is a quick little look at the um, whole tone scale. One of my students asked me about this the other day, so I um, thought I'd do a quick video um, just to show a couple of licks over the top of a, a kind of whole tone type of backing track. So for those of you guys who don't know, um, whole tone scale basically involves playing every whole tone, hence the name, between the root and the next time you get to the root, generally. For example, in this case we're going to jam a little bit in G, so if I take an open G string, give me a G note, this is easy. If I then play the next whole tone up, it gives me an A note with the second fret. The next whole tone will be a B. The next will be a C sharp. D sharp. F. And back to G again. Okay, so you've got 10 of the frets open. 2nd, 4th, 6th, 8th, 10th, 12th. Which brings us back to a G note. And obviously you can carry that on up. Nice and easy. So it works forwards and backs. Um, okay. And that's going to give you all of the notes in the G whole tone scale. So this is great for, for scales um, if you want to jam across one string, because all you really need to do is just play every kind of even fret, if you like, from where you start. So open 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. It's nice and easy. What I'm going to do is try and move these across different strings as well. So I'm just going to use the top three strings, G, B and E string here. Um, off the G string, I'm going to target the open G and then every even fret from there. Open, two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. That's it. Down on the B string, we use the G note, oops, the G note which is there, to the tenth, sorry, the eighth fret, I should say. Off the B string, give me a G note, and again I'm going to target every even fret, kind of, from that. string, there's a G note with a third fret, so we'll be playing 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, we'll be back to the 15, which is where another G note is. Just like that, okay? So it's not a scale I tend to use much, but it's kind of cool if you're deliberately going for something which sounds a little bit strange, um, a little bit of a weird sound, I think. I think it, it does get used a fair bit in um, what's been kind of jazz circles and stuff, where those guys tend to use all sorts of crazy things, so um, yeah, it's useful for some instrumentals if you deliberately want to play something that sounds a bit weird, or occasionally if you just want to throw in a little lick, if you're playing some weekend blues or you know, minor pentonic or even try to finish it into a solo by throwing in a quick whole tone lick, and um, that will turn a few people's heads sometimes, that's for sure. So, I've got is a quick, um, just a quick 10 bar backing track roughly on um, on Guitar Pro 6 I've set up, and it's just a very simple bass line. Um, Involving playing lots of whole tones in G, and it's also got a and G augmented arpeggio, which is kind of that there, picking out, kind of playing in the background just to give it a little bit of tonality as well, so you can sort of hear the overall sound of it. So here we go, a few licks in uh, whole tone in G.